Hi everyone, Pastor Rod here in Tokyo, Japan. We're doing a series on treasures in the Greek New Testament. Today we're going to talk about Mark chapter 1 verse 1 about the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as we look at this word, we're going to realize that we get words in English like evangelism and evangelist from this concept of good news. So here we go. We're going to dive straight into Mark chapter 1 verse 1. It says the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it has been written in the prophets. And it starts talking about Isaiah and other prophets. And so this concept of good news is, is, is one word in the Greek. It's evangelion, which sounds like evangelism, right? And so many times we talk about doing evangelism or evangelism, but the actual concept is two words in the Greek, ou, which means good, and angelion, which means announcements. Now, this word was from the Old Testament times, the Greek Old Testament. It was used in, in the Greek uh, kings of old. Even the Roman kings used this concept of um, the, the, the good news. For example, it was used in, in ancient times of, of when a, a baby was born for a, to a king. And so the announcer went through and said, good news, good news. The baby has been born. Like a town crier, hear ye, hear ye. Hear what the good news for the town or the city or the nation is going to be. And so this concept of good news is not small news. It's not about, you know, I woke up today and felt pretty good. It's, it's talking about world shattering news, newsworthy news, headline news. It's big. It's, and it was used of, as I said, of, of ancient uh, kingdoms. People use this. And in the Old Testament, the, the Hebrew word basar really is used a number of times, about 24 times that word is used in the Old Testament about bringing good news. It might be about a child or a victory. It, it's a word that um, has come down to be uh, from the, the Hebrew basar to the Greek evangelion, this concept of good news. So wherever you think about evangelism, the word is actually bring good news. That's the word. An evangelist is a, a bringer of good news, like really, really good news. Now this, in the New Testament, this word good news is used so many times. It's used about a, 137 times, this good news, good news, good news. The one who used it the most was the Apostle Paul. He just wanted to go through the whole world and telling them, I've got some good news. You've got to hear the good news. Now in some of our Bibles, this word comes through as gospel, which is an old English word meaning good news. So in the Middle Ages, this word good news or gospel was translated into the German of God spell or God spell. And from there, it comes into the English as God spell. Now, spell doesn't mean like something bad. Spell is just German for news. So it's really, again, gospel is good news. So once again, it's the same thing. About half of your Bible translations in English will say gospel and half will say Good news is just from Middle English. That's all it is. It's not in the original language. So this, this is a great word, and it's used so many, many times about the good news. So let's get back to Mark and what he says. He says here the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, Son of God. We're going to talk about those terms in the few weeks to come. But I want to tell you that this is Mark is, is being the town crier. I want to tell you about the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ. I want to tell you his life. I want to tell you the big news. I want to tell you the big things. It's, it's about Jesus, the good news about Jesus Christ Messiah as written in the prophets. And that's how the Gospel of Mark starts. And very soon after, it talks about Jesus' own message. And in Jesus' own message in chapter 1, uh, verse 14 and 15, it, it says here, after delivering up of John the Baptist, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of the reign of God or the good news of the kingdom of God. So, so good news always has this, this concept. Good news of what? Good news of Jesus. Good news of the kingdom of God. Good news. A proclamation that I have something good to share with you. Verse 15, he said that the, the right time is now here. God's kingdom is very near change your hearts and believe the good news. There it is again. And so let's just talk about this concept in our world. I really believe that if we get back to the original meaning, whenever we think of evangelism, like here in Japan, we don't think about 
doing evangelism, we think about bringing good news, which changes our concept of what it is. And so we've had the great joy here of 22 years of going to the streets and uh, our friends at university, maybe not me because I'm getting a bit older, but some of the young people uh, on the streets, Starbucks, and wherever we are, just sharing good news. It's a really amazing thing to think about. What is your good news about Jesus? And as we bring teams in from different parts of the world and we say to them, what what do you want to share with people in Japan who have never heard about Jesus? At first, it's quite an interesting concept. Well, what do you mean? Of course, I want to tell him that he saves and he forgives. And I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you say to people right at the beginning? Because people don't understand that language at all. And so we started to think, what is the good news that God has done in you and you want to declare, here's some good news. For example, with me, I got saved at 19. Before I was saved, I was depressed and uh, I was a fireman. I actually had a very good job, but uh, I was depressed. I wasn't happy. I was into bad things. And the good news is that Jesus made me happy. Jesus came in, took the sadness out and made me a happy man. That's good news in Japan. People will go, Oh, huh? really? Good news is also that before I, w- I had no purpose. I didn't know what my life was all about. And then I found Jesus and I found a purpose for living and, and dreaming and visioning and getting up in the morning. I've got good news to tell you. And so good news has to have a about Jesus is about what he did, but it's also about what he did in my life and what I can tell others about it. So New Testament, as I said, 137 times, Paul is out there talking about the good news of Jesus, the good news of the kingdom, the good news. And and let me say that sometimes, unfortunately, people don't share good news. They want to, but the good news coming out is either uh, political or uh, controversial or uh, confronting if it's another religious group. Sometimes it comes out that way, but it's never supposed to be that way. It's always supposed to be a... Uh, something good. For example, in in um, John chapter 4, where the Jesus meets the Samaritan woman. Samaritans are a different religion, although it's very close to Judaism. It's different. And um, he meets her at midday. She, she's got some water uh, in a well, and he says, give, can you give me some water? And she says, how can you Jewish people talk to me, a Samaritan woman? And Jesus said, hey, I've come to give you living water. Would you like that? And the woman starts arguing and Jesus just keeps going, I can give you this living water. And the woman says, okay, changes her life. She goes back, shares with her village and Jesus shares with them the good news that Jesus Christ is in fact the savior, the Messiah, the Christ. Actually, all those words are used in that passage in different languages and sharing with a different people group. Hey, God has living water. God has forgiveness. God has whatever it is, good news. So let me finish by reading the scripture again that Mark, he wants to tell us about his amazing friend and and uh, savior, uh, Jesus. He, he wants to, he starts off his gospel and here's where Matthew, Mark, Luke, John are called gospels. They're called good newses about Jesus, good newses of the kingdom. The, I want to tell you the good news. All four, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wanted to tell this really, really good news. So this is Mark, and I'm finished. Mark 1.1, 1, 1, the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets. And I pray that we take this away saying, God, I want to be a person of good news. I want to share good news about Jesus, the kingdom, salvation, goodness that is happening through Jesus. Let me pray. Thank you, Lord. I pray we'd carry good news. We'd be people of good news about Jesus, about kingdom and purpose and all the good things that you brought into our lives. I pray we'd reflect and think on the good news of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this and we'll see you next time.